Hello to all of my one, two, threes. Thank you so much for being here on this channel, hitting that like, share, and subscribe button to show my channel some love. And you know I'm sending love right back to you, beautiful people. Cross watchers, you're always welcome here on the channel, Spiritually Aids on one, two, three, where the truth will be told. Get your affirmations and manifestations on through what? Meditation. Love yourself first. Please live your absolute best life and make sure that you get an amazing laugh on every single day so we're going to get into a general reading for the collective sign of pisces again cross watchers you're welcome here you may be born on the cusp of a pisces or you may have be, you may be in the energy of a pisces okay and that could be past present it could also be future anyway so these are the cards i'm going to use these are tarot cards i'm going to clarify with these these are oracle cards these are the cards i make and for those who've been rocking with me for a long time y'all remember i used to start the readings with these playing cards right but i'm gonna set these aside and we're gonna get into a general reading for the collective sign of pisces see what comes out waiting for these other nails to fall off like this one did because i got some really cute ones i want to put on for the person who emailed me i mean who left a comment in the comment section asking um if they if they could send me a um a line of their press on nails you can email me at spiritually liaison one two three at gmail.com and I'll be more than happy to send you an address where you can send those nails and I will advertise them on my channel. And for the person who wanted to know the kind of book that I'm reading right now, the person who emailed me about this, this is the book that I'm reading right now. I just got it. I, I haven't even started reading it yet. I just got it. Um, but I think that this is um, a very interesting book and I'm looking forward to reading it. And um it says the study of the um, hermetic philosophy of ancient Egypt and Greece. And I love this quote here. It says the lips of the wisdom are closed except to the ears of understanding. I like that quote. But anyway, so that's what I'm reading. I'll, I'll be starting that book very soon. And so, but let's get into a general reading for the collective sign of Pisces. Ooh, okay. Cards flipping out already. What, the, what is this that hit the floor? I avoid you because I'm worried about you picking up on my real energy, okay? Now, that's the card that hit the floor. So, that could be significant, but I'm not taking anything that hits the floor, okay? I kind of feel like you may have dropped someone who has stayed away from you. Maybe they stayed away for so long that you no longer desire to have a connection with them. And they could have been staying away from you because they were worried about you picking up on their energy. But I kind of feel like you dropped them. Like you're no longer you know um concerned about if they're going to come around again or if you're going to talk it, it's like you don't care or something or you're not concerned about that anymore all right so spirit what would you like for my pisces my collective pisces to know spirit what would you like for the collective sign of pisces to know spirit what would you like for the collective sign of pisces to know Only if you knew how much I admire your tenacity. Wow. So somebody admires your tenacity, Pisces. They admire the way you bounce back. <laughs> you get things done. So let me pull from the numbers deck, see what comes out, see which house is being represented. Only if you knew how much I admire your tenacity. The number two speech of duality balance let me put these aside okay and um so the second house represents your value system your uh, material possessions and your financial attitude so this could be how you view your finances uh, maybe you are were in a hard situation, a tough situation financially, and you had to take a closer look at it so you can figure out how you can balance out some things. Some of you all have been trying to balance out your checkbook. You've been trying to get some sort of control over your finances in some way. 
Um, but someone is admiring your tenacity and your will to not give up. And it has something to do with your value system. You value the things that you value. You work hard to keep um, or you work hard to get. And this is ha this has a lot to do with your material possessions and your financial attitude. You may be trying to have a more mature financial attitude or have a better relationship with your finances at this time. So, all right. So we're going to pull from this Oracle deck here. The Oracle deck that I'm using um, for my water, for my Pisces here, Central Water Signs. It's the Sea Soul Journeys Oracle Cards Guidebook by Pippa Best. All right, so this is what I'll be using. I'm going to use pull just one of these and we're going to see what the message is. I thought to myself, I said if I wanted these nails to uh, stay on, they would have been falling off left and right. But now I'm ready for them to fall off. They're taking their precious time. <laughs> Okay, so allow, may you soften into what is, okay? So let's see, allow, may you soften into what is, okay? So Pisces, when you see this card, the reflection, what you should be reflecting on is the sea cannot be fought or controlled or resisted. The tides cannot be stopped. When you are in the water, the sea can only be moved through, even if it moves you. When you stop battling against, you soften into lightness, finding the power to rise. The blessings when you see this card is, may you yield, may you release judgment, may you give loving permission, may you allow the pull of the waves to lift you. The mantra you should speak when you see this card is, I make space for the whole experience. So there's an area of your life, Pisces, where I feel like you're an inspiration to someone that has been watching you go through some hard times in life. This could be your children. This could be someone in your community. This may be someone on your job. But whatever this is, there's an outside source that has watched you overcome your adversaries, that have watched you overcome trials and tribulations. And they, re they see how much you refuse to give up. And they admire your tenacity for that. You have faced a lot of things. Um, but through, through grounding yourself, through meditation, you've, you've actually learned what you should fight against and what you have to allow to flow naturally, right? And so, as just like the uh, book said, when you go against the ocean, it's almost as if you're going against yourself. And there are certain things in your life that will actually lift you up if you just go if you just go with the flow and kind of soften your resistance in some way. So there's an area that where. You've been fighting against something because that's the energy you're used to being in. You're not a, you don't believe in giving up easy. You fight for what you want. You fight for balance. Um, and you just refuse to give up. And this could be something financially, you know, that you were going through. But I feel like you're on a path where you're actually learning to kind of let certain things happen naturally. That's something that you don't have to work so hard to make happen because it's going to happen anyway. So let's see what comes out, Pisces. Let's see. Spirit, what would you like for Pisces, the collective Pisces to know? Spirit, what would you like for the collective sign of Pisces to know? Spirit, what would you like for the collective sign of Pisces to know?
the fool card. You're being encouraged to take some sort of leap of faith. To be brave, strong, hold your head up, not give up. Also, Pisces, in the past, I feel like this was you. I feel like you just refuse to give up no matter what. No matter how many times you took that leap of faith and landed on your face, no matter how many times, you know, people will advise you not to do something because they were afraid and you bravely say, you know what, I'm just going to take a chance and see how it turns out. And this could have been a number of projects in your life. It could have been a number of areas of your life that you face failures, but you've got back up. That's the main thing. You didn't stay down. And what did you do? Climb that mountain again and took whatever it was that you needed and decided to take a leap of faith again. Sometimes you land on your feet. Sometimes you don't. And I feel like sometimes in your life, you could be looking at things where a lot of times you were fighting so hard to fix things that really you could have just let flow and it would have kind of fixed itself. And the, I just kind of feel like there's an area of your life where you're realizing this now. You're looking back at the past at how many times you had to restart some sort of karmic cycle or you had to walk through certain doors and, you know, start all over again. And, you know, people calling you foolish for making certain decisions in your past and you just refusing to give up. And there is an entity or someone who an energy that has watched this whole thing play out. Now, this could be one of your guardian angels. This could be a earthly being. This is just someone who admires your will not to give up. But I also feel like because you have fallen so many times, you're just automatically in an energy where you feel like you have to fight harder than most to obtain something. Now, you have the two of wands here. Now, that two of wands is being at a crossroad. A decision needs to be made. I feel like you are ready to put passion behind some sort of new adventure in your life, some sort of new something new that that you finally it has your attention you're ready to take a new leap of faith in something but i feel like you may be doing things a little different this time i feel like you may have taken a leap of faith it, this could have even been in two areas and someone may have called you kind of foolish, like, why are you doing those two things? Like, why are you doing that? But I feel like you did this. You just wanted to test the waters with, with some area or something. But in the process, I feel like you realize you did not have to push against. You didn't have to try so hard. So I feel like whatever this is at this crossroads, you're making a choice with one and you're realizing that one thing has been harder than what it should be, or maybe you've tried too hard or the, the stress of it has been too much. So I feel like your focus is on something else that you want to put passion behind. And, and, and luck is actually on your side here. You do have some sort of loyalty from the universe or you've been loyal to the cause or loyal to something. But I feel like this is an area where you're, this is new territory. You're something that you're doing that's new. You're realizing that you can kind of let things go with the flow. You don't have to try so hard anymore. Now you have the five of pentacles here. Now with this five of pentacles here, this is, um, I'm, mm, 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 mm. sorry, y'all, the seven of pentacles here. I don't know why I saw five. Maybe you were in a five of pentacles energy where you took some sort of temporary loss and you chose to get back up because you refused to give up. And you made some sort of choice. Now with this seven of pentacles, I see you trying to see you took a gamble on something and you're trying to see if it's going to pay off. Sometimes I feel like you get a little impatient. That could be where you need to soften 
what's going to happen, like soften your resistance or you trying to hurry up and make something happen and push something forward quickly. But I feel like your rise to the top is going to be gradual. It's going to happen anyway. Some sort of good payout is coming to you anyway due to a choice that you made or your tenacity, your, re your resilience, your re uh, refusal to give up. This is going to be something that balances you out because I feel like in the past, like I, I didn't mean to say five of pentacles energy, but I feel like in the past you did take a temporary loss. And this could be why people were calling you foolish. Like, you know, why did you do something? You have the knight of wands here. Yeah, you're going after something with everything you got. You're optimistic about the future too. Whatever this is, you you I don't see anyone being able to talk you out of a decision that you're choosing to make. You're taking the act. You're not just saying what you want to do. You're literally putting action behind this because you're passionate about it. Okay, I'm gonna take the cards that fail. So you have the you have the um. You have the seven of cups here, so your options will be opening up. Due to some sort of choice you've made, you will have a number of options standing before you. Now, the card that came out right after that is the devil card. So I feel like with the seven of pentacles in some sort of energy that you're in because you want to see something hurry up and turn around in a quick way. I feel like you need to pay attention to the devil in the details because with the seven of cups here, all of these options that are being presented before you, some of these aren't the best options for you. You know, it's like you're going to have to take the time to um, seven of cups could represent um, procrastination energy too, like you're procrastinating to make a decision or make a choice. But I feel like in this at this time, if you rush something, it's going to put you in sort in some sort of bad situation where you may sign a contract or you may be um, connecting yourself with energies that's unhealthy for you, putting yourself in a bad predicament. So I feel like there's something that you need to let happen naturally with the seven of Pentacles, and this could have to do with your money. Because I feel like if you move too quick, you're going to make some sort of make the wrong choice because you have all of these new options standing before you. It's like the universe favors the brave and it's cool to be brave. It's okay to be brave and take those leap of faith and refuse to get give up. But it's also important to learn from what made you fall in the first place. So with this, you have the Knight of Wands and you have the Knight of Swords here. And this Knight of Swords is some sort of energy coming in where someone kind of just wants to let you kind of say what's on their mind and kind of give you, you know, some sort of advice, whether you ask for it or not. This may be an air sign, but this is someone who kind of in the midst of you taking a leap of faith, there may be someone who's trying to prevent you from doing something. <clears throat> they may be saying this in a way that rubs you the wrong way. But I kind of feel like someone feels like that you need to you need some sort of advice. But it's how they're saying it that I feel like this is why it's falling on deaf ears. Like you don't really want to hear what they're saying because of how they're saying it. So. You have the emperor card here. That's that Aries energy. So I do see Pisces with this knight of swords and this air. I mean, this emperor card here. So with the knight, that's that fast moving energy. I feel like someone is sending this knight to you. I feel like this is an emperor who's sending this knight your way. Now, this could just be someone who... Maybe you, your tenacity is they they may feel like it's breaking the rules they may look at it that way the fact that you refuse to give up or you keep going after a number of things 
they may look at, they may look at something like you're breaking the rules or you're not going by the rules that the emperor is someone who enforces rules they make rules but they're also a person who's uncompromising they don't admit when they're wrong or when those rules no longer apply to a situation so it's like my way or no way and I feel like this is the person who's behind someone who's sending someone your way trying to kind of prevent you from taking a leap of faith Maybe they're trying to put you in an energy where they want you to sort of second guess yourself. But I feel like this resistance that you're getting from someone or that's being sent your way. I feel like you need to, you don't even need to really respond. I feel like you need to just act upon something kind of don't discuss it with someone and make the best decision for you but but take this seven of cups into consideration this procrastination like look at something in detail before you agree to something now whatever that is i'm not sure you have the world card here and this is that all-encompassing energy this is someone who also you could have a lot of people looking at you at this time and again like i said somebody is admiring the fact that you refuse to give up and it's putting you in a place of sort of like that power where you can sort of see things come full circle in your life i see something paying off in a very good way for you pisces your vulnerability or that sort of like childlike energy of being optimistic about the future regardless of what the past was like is appealing to people and it does have a lot of people attention a lot of people are watching you but they're also there is also someone who's watching you who feels like they know what's best for you better than you know what's best for you now you faced all of these challenges in life you've been down certain paths in life on your own without a lot of help so i'm not sure why someone feels like their way is the only way but the outcome of this Pisces is the world card. So I do see something that you're investing in. I don't know what it is, though. This could be anything in your life. This may maybe you're taking a chance on a new job. This could be real estate. This could be a new relationship. This could be um, it, something financial. Uh, but whatever it is, you're taking a chance because you want to see balance. You want to see what you put out in that quantum field reflected back to you in a good way. You want to see things reciprocated. You want to see something that you've gambled on pay off in a big way. And I do feel like it is going to pay off. So you may, I feel like someone is giving you their opinion that you didn't ask for or they're inputting themselves into like they're kind of like putting themselves like giving you some advice you didn't ask for or something but i feel like again you're going to have an opportunity to look at a number of options you're prevent i mean you're um creating a number of options in your life at this time but i do feel like with some of these options you need to look at them closely because you don't want to make the mistake of signing a contract that you kind of feel unnecessarily bound to or you know someone or that's unhealthy or toxic or you know some sort of manipulative energy now with some of you all i even see you having to manipulate money in some way or time in some way so this could just be you taking the time to invest into something long term and waiting to see it mature or something it's like you, this may be with the stock market it could be um I don't know it's something that you're investing in that you're bonded to for this could be seven months or seven years that you're waiting to see it mature but it's going to put you in a place of power or some sort of higher status where i see your people are going to be able to see you things come full circle and see you in a better energy where you can have more control over um 
what's going on in your life. And again, it's something that you shouldn't be resisting against because it says, may you soften into what is. So it's meant for you to be in some sort of position of power or to have what you need or what you want. Um, but it has to happen naturally because if you just try to take control over every little thing, it's almost as if you're trying to control the ocean. And we know that's not going to happen, right? So let me set that over there and I'm going to clarify these cards. Now that Emperor card keeps moving. I keep feeling like somebody moves a lot. They move around a lot. They may kind of stick their nose in people's business. You know, maybe they feel like they're an expert at something. Maybe something worked out very well for them in their life. And they kind of feel like they're an expert in everything in, in your life or something. But I kind of feel like this, you didn't ask for someone's input or their business. And they just, you know, you didn't ask them to be in your business. And they just are sending someone your way to kind of tell you what they think or how they feel. And you didn't ask for that. You have the six of pentacles here. So there will this the six of pentacles speaks of good karma, like what you put out coming back to you, good energy that you've been putting out coming back to you. Some of some of you all will be getting some sort of windfall from an unexpected source, though, or you may be getting help when you least expect it. This also could just be someone who's, again, they have been watching you trying to do a lot on your own. They see you, they see you fall, you, you failed at some things in the past. You've fallen and you've gotten back up. And you're very passionate about not staying down. So I feel like someone is coming your way and they want, they have the means or something to help you out. So this, this could be a earth sign, but this is someone who wants to give something to you to kind of help you on your journey. You have the five of wands here. Yes, yeah, someone, I don't know who this is, Pisces, but someone is just, it's like, I, I, the more I look at this, this energy here, whoever this is that wants to give you a piece of their mind or give you some sort of advice, I kind of feel like this person does things just for show. They want, if they want to, someone wants to take, accolades for your hard work they want to take credit for some sort of your optimism about the future or how you do things your tenacity the fight in you to not give up it's like this person is even taking credit for that like oh i taught pisces how to go after what they want or I taught Pisces how to not give up or to be courageous or something. It's like this person want their 15 minutes of fame at your expense. Like they want to say that that strength in you comes from them or something. They want some sort of credit for your hard work. And I feel like they're, they're trying to get you to either acknowledge them or give them credit or something like that. I feel like this person keeps a lot of confusion going on around them too. Whoever this is, it's always some, some sort of confusion. This could be someone you moved on from. You don't so you may not talk to them. So the fact that they even want to give you some sort of advice or speak their opinion about what you should be doing financially you may be like okay that could be why i said it's falling on deaf ears because you may not want to hear what they have to say maybe this person wasn't even there to pick you up when you did fall a number of times they may be aware that you had fallen a number of times and sat there and watch you fall and pick yourself up and now you're up they want to give advice 
But I feel like there's an energy coming in that's kind of helping you on some sort of journey. And I, But I don't feel like it's that person. It's not whoever this is. It's someone over here that's wanting to give you something. The tower moment here. Yeah, so this Knight of Swords, they may face a tower moment before they even come your way, Pisces. They may face some sort of tower moment um, just for minding your business, so to speak. It's like it's like the fact that they're trying you're trying to stay on course or you're trying to do something in a very like um passionate way or go after your dreams. I kind of feel like this person who's inserting themselves in your business. This could be family. This could be on a job. This could be in a community. Only you would know. I kind of feel like this person who's inserting themselves or allowing themselves to sort of be a puppet for this emperor is going to face some sort of tower moment for putting their nose where it does not belong. So I feel like they it's almost as if the universe is stopping them from coming your way because someone else wants to help you on a journey. And I feel like this Knight of Swords will be sort of a distraction or kind of throw things off course with their input that you didn't even ask for. So I feel like this tower moment is a way for the universe to kind of stop them from interfering with what you're supposed to be doing. Because they're being sent by someone else who keeps a lot of confusion going. This It's meant for you to get something or receive something to kind of help you on this journey to make things easier for you so you can allow things to happen naturally. And I feel like you have to fight so much every time you take a fall or something that will prevent you from falling so much. Spirit, what is the message? What is the other card? What is this? A number of cards came out. The hangman and the five of cups here, Pisces. So I'm going to take both of them. I feel like whoever this is, um, with this five of cups, it's a time for you to, to let go of the past. Some sort of distractions, things that have kept you focused on the past far too long. You have some better options that you could be looking at. And I feel like you've been stuck for a long time. Focused on an area or someone that you felt sad about. This could have been someone who you lost. But there's an area now that you're supposed to actually let go of and heal from. Because you have two other cups here. That it's it's requiring your attention. You're supposed to look at something from a different perspective. Now, again, this to me looks like someone who you lost in the past that they may have already passed on. And I feel like it's connected to this emperor here who keeps a lot of confusion going on around them. Um, who's sending someone your way. But I feel like, again, this Knight of Swords is going to be made to stop coming your way with this with some sort of input because it's meant for you to invest into something long-term. This could be a contract that you have to sign that you're connected to. This could be for seven months or seven years, but it's going to put you in a place of this world card where something coming full circle and you're seeing what's going on. And right up under the world card is the justice card. Very powerful energy there. Two major arcanas there. So a, a major shift, a major change, something balancing out. The two represents that Libra energy, you know, that scale being balanced. Um, anything that's off balance needs to be made right. And this is what someone is trying to prevent from happening. And this is why they're being stopped. You're supposed to get something. Somebody is admiring how you're to how you refuse to give up no matter what, how you're going to get to the goal, how you're going to stop resisting change or you've learned to stop resisting what's supposed to happen. 
But I'm going to tell you, I feel like this allow reflects on both of you all. Someone is not allowed to come your way to stop something. And they're going to have to learn this the hard way to keep their nose out of what is supposed to be. This is why they're facing a tower moment because they're interfering with something they should not interfere with. It's meant for you to be in this, you know, all encompassing energy where your vulnerability is your power. The fact that you're allowing something to happen naturally and you've learned to do this is bringing justice and fairness to a situation in your life. You'll be able to turn away from the past or stop grieving so much over someone who you lost. You're going to start looking at this in a different way, from a different perspective. And I do see for a while, because it's hang one here, is also Pisces energy. You being stuck, focused on the past far too long. And you're being encouraged to go ahead and remove like all of this pain, this hurt, something that could have played a role too. And you kept falling. Maybe you just was moving off of hurt and not realizing that, you know, it was time to deal with the root cause of your pain and move on from it. And I feel like you have been on that journey, focusing on the shadow side of your life, the ugly parts of you that you don't like, um, the ugly parts of you where you had to fall because you needed to learn some sort of life lesson. And the fact that you had to look at it from a different perspective again, was a life lesson. And I feel like this is going to help you make better decisions in the future. So someone interfering, there, whoever's interfering is being stopped. Um, again, you have the Justice card here, but there's an, other cards flipped over. The Ace of Cups and the um, Eight of, of Swords here. So with this Justice card, some sort, there may be some sort of legal documents that have to be signed or something legal, something that has to do with the justice system that is being, it's being offered to you. It's being given to you. Now, I don't know what that means. I don't know whether it's an inheritance. I don't know whether somebody's trying to stop you from getting an inheritance and the justice system is getting involved. I don't know what's going on, but someone is trying to stop you from getting something, but they're being stopped. And whatever this is, Pisces, with this eight of swords here, I feel like whoever this energy is, they're going to be made to kind of like sit and think about what they've done um, and how they have. And, and to make better choices moving forward, this eight of swords can be someone who's being tested. You understand? Like this is someone who they have to learn valuable lessons again about not sticking their nose in other people's affairs or other people's business. Because I feel like someone you're supposed to get something that somebody's trying to stop it or they're trying to distract you from getting it or from paying attention to it or something. Um, let me see. I'm going to pull these cards here. because yeah, someone is really I feel like whoever this person is that admire your tenacity is the very person who's actually going to give you something to help you on this journey let me see third house communication so a Gemini may be significant um, I feel like you're going to some sort of communication is going to come in to give you a confirmation that you're on the right path, that you don't have to keep fighting so hard. And you're going to be in a position where you know how if you fail many a times before and you some for some of you rock bottom looks different for everyone. You may have, you know, bruised yourself, your ego, your could have even physically hurt your knees or something like that i feel like you're going to have a cushion moving forward like how you know if you're in the in the ocean and you just kind of relax and it'll start to you'll float and bop i feel like this is what you're going to get confirmation of that you don't have to fight so much anymore for stuff you fought long enough. You've proved that you have the tenacity within you and the resilience to keep getting up, to not give up. And it can't even be denied at this point. So I feel like you're getting something because the universe 
favors the brave and you've proven how brave you are. So instead of you having to fight, you'll be able to kind of relax and go with the flow of how things kind of soften your resistance and you're going to get some sort of communication confirming that you're on the right path and that you're doing something. You're going to get a trusted friend that you can, you know, kind of go on this journey with you, somebody who believes in you too. And I feel like someone is going to have to kind of sit back and watch you be in this world card energy and get things done, you know, kind of like um, vibrate in that very high energy where you're able to, your vulnerability looks beautiful. You're able to even show people how they can turn things around in their life. No matter how many times they fall, getting back up is the only option, right? And it brings about some sort of power. It brings about um, the the energy of knowing when to fight and when to you know, just let things happen naturally. And with that within itself is is beautiful knowledge to have. It's wisdom. And so I feel like that's what you're getting, some sort of wisdom and confirmation. So someone is going to learn to kind of keep their nose out of something and stop trying to prevent blessings that are, that are meant for you from coming in your life. Now, on the bottom of this deck is Juno. Partnership. Beautiful. So again, a partnership is taking place. I say you're getting a trusted friend. Um, yeah, someone who you can talk to, someone who matches your energy, someone who understands where you're coming from, and someone who has been on some of the paths that you've been on. And they can sometimes you can lead them and they can lead you. What a beautiful outcome, Pisces. Love you all. Sending you nothing but positive energy. Go ahead and hit that like, share, and subscribe button to show my channel some love. And I'm sending love right back to you. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for your donations. Um, sending thank you to everyone who goes over to my Star Spa channel and show my channel so much love. And I'm sending love right back to you all. And um, you made the world to me. I just wanted to let you know that. So we've been on this journey for a few years now, and um, and I'm just happy that you know everything is just turning out in an amazing way and february the 22nd of 2023 will be my two year anniversary for my channel so isn't that amazing so i'll be super excited about that just you know two years that two full years that my channel will be up and running and um in an amazing way and i'm just so happy about all of that so thank you again to everybody who has played a role in helping this channel grow. I ask you to go over to my other channel, show that channel some love too, help that channel grow. And um, that channel is about the other zodiac signs. And, you know, some of you all, you should pay attention to your moon sign, your Mercury, your Venus. Um, yes, your North Node and oh, your rising sign, you should pay attention to those because those are important. They're a part of your makeup. And um, yeah, so anyway, I love you all. Thank you for loving me right back. And I will talk with you all later.